Millions of years ago, a lot of creatures lived on Earth, but the most fearsome ones lived in the oceans. Over 97% of all habitable locations on Earth is found in the oceans. There are almost 1.5 billion cubic kilometers of water in all the Earth's oceans combined. As of today, all the 8 billion humans on Earth live in less than 1% of the Earth's habitable locations. The Earth's oceans have been teeming with life for billions of years. These vast mysterious bodies of water have witnessed the birth and extinction of countless species. From microscopic organisms to the rulers of the oceans, like the megalodon shark. Now, millions of years ago, the Earth's oceans was home to terror. Ichthyosaurs are a group of deadly sea monsters, which dominated the oceans during the Mesozoic era, around 251 million years ago. This era, which is often referred to as Age of Reptiles, spanned about 180 million years and was known by the dominance of reptilian life forms across terrestrial, aquatic and aerial environments. This era is divided into three major periods, the Triassic, Jurassic and the Cretaceous period. The story of Ichthyosaurs began in the depth of the ancient oceans, a time long before the dinosaurs roamed the earth. During the Triassic period, Ichthyosaurs diversified rapidly, adapting to various ecological niches within the ocean. The name Ichthyosaurus means fish lizards in Greek. Ichthyosaurs belong to a group of reptiles known as diapsids which includes modern-day reptiles like lizards, snakes and crocodiles. Ichthyosaurs were not actually fishes, but reptiles which were more closely related to dinosaurs than to modern-day fish. Their streamlined bodies, flippers and specialized teeth allowed them to become efficient marine predators. Among the Ichthyosaurs, Shonisaurus sicaniensis was the largest. It was a true titan of the Mesozoic seas dwarfing most other known ichthyosaur species. This gigantic marine reptile once roamed the late Triassic oceans approximately 215 million years ago. A fully grown Shonisaurus could grow up to 85 feet in length and weigh over 81,000 kilograms. It is believed to have been a top predator in the late Triassic oceans. Like other ichthyosaurs, Shonisaurus had long paddle-like flippers and a vertical tail. These flippers were used for steering and propulsion, eventually making them proficient swimmers. They were not flexible like those of modern dolphins, but rather rigid stretches. These flippers were actually elongated finger-like stretches, covered in skin. Unlike fishes, ichthyosaurs had no scales. Instead, they had smooth skin, which helped reduce water resistance while swimming. However, Shonisaurus popularis was also a true giant of the ancient seas. Estimates suggest that some individuals of this species could reach lengths exceeding 60 feet or more, making them one of the largest marine reptiles ever known to science. Leopleurodon, a fearsome predator from the late Jurassic period, is often compared to Shonisaurus due to its remarkable size. Leopleurodon was not as long as Shonisaurus, but it was bulkier and more robust Estimates suggest that Leopirodon could reach lengths of approximately 50 feet or more. Despite its shorter length, compared to Shonisaurus, Leopirodon was a formidable apex predator with a powerful bite capable of taking down large prey. Ichthyosaurs had one of the most powerful jaws on earth. Their long snout filled with sharp teeth allowed it to hunt and feed on various marine organisms, including fish and squid. Additionally, the lower jaw was loose, allowing them to engulf prey more efficiently. They even preyed on other smaller ichthyosaurs. Ichthyosaurs have the largest eyes ever recorded in any animal. Some of these ichthyosaurs had eyes which were about 11 inches wide. This feature suggests that they had excellent vision in low light conditions. This feature was advantageous for hunting in deep waters. Some species of ichthyosaurs had protective plates called sclerotic rings around their eyes to provide support and protection. Additionally, some ichthyosaur fossils have been found with evidence of blubber, suggesting that they may have been warm-blooded, helping them maintain a constant body temperature in cold waters. Pregnant ichthyosaur fossils have been discovered, 
which preserved embryos inside their mother's body. This suggests that ichthyosaurs gave birth to life young, rather than laying eggs. Ichthyosaurs varied in sizes, from small species like the Mixosaurus, measuring a few feet long, to giants like the Shonisaurus sicaniensis. Ichthyosaurs are not the only marine creatures that have roamed the prehistoric seas. Thousands of massive marine reptiles have existed on Earth. Two similar groups of marine reptiles also existed, Mosasaurs and Pliosaurs. The most famous Pliosaur is the Chronosaurus. It was a blood testicular killer and was similar to modern-day crocodiles. In other words, it was a crocodile with flippers instead of limbs, just in a giant form. Chronosaurus could grow up to 33 feet in length and weigh up to 12,000 kilograms. Their body features were similar to that of Musasaurus, another agile marine reptile. Just like the Musasaurus, Chronosaurus also had powerful jaws, lined with razor-sharp teeth, a feature that left no chances of escape for its victim. Chronosaurus inhabited the warm shallow seas that covered part of what is now Australia and South America during the early Cretaceous, approximately 125 million years ago. However, Mosasaurs had a different body structure and hunting strategy, making them formidable competitors. Ichthyosaurs were a global phenomenon, inhabiting oceans worldwide. Fossils have been discovered on every continent, suggesting a broad distribution during their heydays. Their preferred habitats ranged from shallow coastal waters to deep sea environments. As the Jurassic period gave way to the Cretaceous, Ichthyosaurs began to decline. By the mid-Cretaceous, Ichthyosaurs were on the brink of extinction. This decline was likely due to combination of factors, including competition with other marine reptiles and changing environmental conditions as a result of climate change. Despite facing competition from other marine reptiles and dinosaurs, some ichthyosaurs, like Platypterygios and Ophthalmosaurus, persisted into the late Cretaceous. These late survivors exhibited adaptations to cope with changing oceanic conditions. The final chapter in the story of ichthyosaurs unfolded during the late Cretaceous period, around 90 million years ago. By this time, ichthyosaurs had become relatively rare, with only few species clinging to existence. Ultimately, they faced extinction, along with the dinosaurs, at the end of the Cretaceous period, approximately 66 million years ago.